Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Futures Trader. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to stay on top of my latest videos. I put out all kinds of different videos, some instructional, some going through trader evaluation companies, some trading my own capital, and much more. But in this video, I'm going to try to keep it short and very specifically show you how to connect Jigsaw Day Trader to Rhythmic and R Trader Pro. Uh, what you're looking at is my website, feel free to visit, link down below. I have articles, I have deals, contests, lots of different fun stuff. So before we get to the video where I'll actually demonstrate this in action, I just want to let you know that Jigsaw Trading does have a very extensive fax on their site. I put a link directly to what you're looking at down below. If you come here, they have for their connection manner all of the different feeds and how you would go about connecting them. So. Uh, just really quick to walk through their facts, and then like I said, I'll, I'll actually demonstrate it. Uh, when you bring up our Trader Pro, now I should mention there's, there's two ways to connect Jigsaw to a Rhythmic account. One is directly to Rhythmic, and the other is by basically connecting Jigsaw to our Trader Pro, which is Rhythmic software, which then, of course, is already connected to your Rhythmic account. I use the second method. For a couple reasons. Uh, the main one is that you will have to have our Trader Pro up and logged in to connect Jigsaw to it. And I don't trade in our Trader Pro, but I like to have access to my account. I like to see my account balance. I like to see what my drawdown is at, etc. Uh, if you're not familiar, Rhythmic and our Trader Pro is very popular, especially among the different trader valuation companies. Uh, so you'll probably get a Rhythmic login depending on which company you're with. And so, like I mentioned, I like having our Trader Pro just up. So this is the method that I take. When you're in, on the R Trader Pro side, you have to click Advanced. You have to allow plugins. You see that here. Uh, that will allow you to basically stream the market data from Rhythmic and R Trader Pro to Jigsaw. Is essentially what it's doing. On the Rhythmic setup within Jigsaw. We'll put in all our account credentials, but the biggest thing is we'll check this box. Log in with our Trader Pro. That is telling Jigsaw, hey, here's my account credentials, but look for our Trader Pro to actually be running, which it will be, and then it will pull the data directly from it. Again, the benefit to this is that you're actually running our Trader Pro, so all of your account information is there, or another worst case scenario, say Jigsaw froze or Jigsaw crashed. You would be able to man and you were actively in a trade you could manage your trade then in our trader pro you'd already have it up it's just how i prefer to operate and one other question i get quite often is can you log into multiple rhythmic accounts either through our trader pro or through jigsaw using this method you cannot so you can only have one instance of our trader pro running at a time which means you're only going to be logged into one account at a time and likewise, Jigsaw is just pulling its data and information from our trader. So Jigsaw has no control over it. You can only be logged into our trader one at a time. Okay, guys. So step number one is to log into our trader pro, which is connected to your Rhythmic account first. So this is a screen. We saw it on the Jigsaw side. So one, you can click remember me. Um, if it's highlighted in yellow, that means it's active, and that way it'll keep your login credentials each time. So this would be your user ID and password you received from your brokerage, or I suspect a lot of you are in trader evaluations, much like I am. So these would be your Rhythmic login credentials. So your login and password, you typically choose Rhythmic Paper Trading, and then you can pick your closest server for North America. It will be the Chicago one. Now... Here as well, you have to enable this so you would allow plugins and make sure the market data is on. You just click them to make sure they're highlighted. This will allow the information in our trader to flow over to Jigsaw. If you don't click these, it won't be able to pull the data. Uh, you put in the exact same login credentials you had up here. Uh, same thing with Rhythmic Paper Trade Chicago. And that is basically it. So from there, we log in to Rhythmic. Logged into Rhythmic, you'll see your Rhythmic dashboard. You can do everything in here. I should say R Trader. You don't have to do anything further at this point to connect to Jigsaw from the R Trader side. Now, once this, as long as R Trader is running, we can now go into Jigsaw and I'll show you how to connect your account now to R Trader. Okay, guys, so when you first open Jigsaw, you will get this bar here. It's essentially your toolbar. 
uh, where you can pretty much do everything from. Uh, the very first thing is the connection manager. I'll just mention all this background, uh, depth of markets you're seeing, DOMS. I already have set up for you profit, that's why they're loaded up. Normally at this point you would just have uh, this toolbar. So we'll go to connection manager. Now I already have an active uh, you profit trader connection that I should set up. I shouldn't say it's active, I'm not actually connected yet, but I'll show you how you would go about setting a new one. Uh, so you bring up the connection manager. You can have multiple connections. You can have connections to all different programs, different brokerages, etc. You go down here to new, select rhythmic. It will bring up this box. So your connection name is the same as, let's see if I can move it over here. So this will be this name that shows right here. So you can name it whatever you want. So I'm currently doing you profit trader. So I would name this you profit trader. You would name it your brokerage, whatever you want it to be. Description uh, is optional. You don't have to enter it. Honestly, I'm not even sure where that would show up. I think it's more if you want to add additional notes here uh, for yourself. Your username and your password are going to be your rhythmic credentials. So your rhythmic username, your rhythmic password. So if you're in one of the trader evaluations, you'll get that in one of the original emails. You need to choose a server, so nine times out of 10, this will be Rhythmic 01 Paper Trading. That's what you choose for the trader evaluations, and what that does is it pre-populates all server information, etc. This as well, you'll usually be told by uh, the company what it is. So for example, there's some other options here, like Speed Up Trader, Top Step Trader. So if you're in one of those programs, you might be choosing something else, but uh, like a Lilu or Uprofit, an Earned Trade, I know you choose Rhythmic 01 Paper Trading. Last few steps, you can choose to auto-connect. I typically do not. You need to have our trader running. So if you were to open Jigsaw first and you have Auto Connect selected, it'll start looking for Rhythmic. And if it doesn't find it, or I should say our Trader Pro, uh, it'll start coming up with error messages and it just gets annoying. It's almost easier just to not Auto Connect, bring it up and then just quickly connect when you're ready to connect. Uh, what you do need to click is log in via our Trader Pro. So what this is doing to kind of put it in simple terms is you have our Trader Pro running, which is essentially your Rhythmic connection. Jigsaw is then sitting on top of that and just pulling the data directly from our Trader Pro. There's a couple of benefits to this. The two ones that I want to point out are, first of all, if you had any problem with Jigsaw, Jigsaw freezes, Jigsaw crashes. I've never once had Jigsaw crash, uh, I can say that, but if it did, I would have our Trader Pro open so I could manage trades directly in there. So imagine you're in the middle of a trade, Jigsaw crashes, well, you'll still have RTrader Pro open. A second benefit is by doing this, you're not using up additional connections. Pretty much all of these software packages have a maximum number of logins you're allowed. So, for example, let's say you also use NinjaTrader, uh, and NinjaTrader is connected directly to Rhythmic. Well, if you have w one too many connections, it's going to start kicking off whatever the oldest connection is, or it just won't let you log into the next subsequent login. By connecting via our Trader Pro, you're not using one of those connections, if that makes sense. Jigsaw is just pulling its data from our Trader rather than connecting itself to Rhythmic as a separate connection. So that's why you want to choose that. And just to give you a quick example of what mine looks like, I mean, it's, it's not too exciting, but you profit, you profit Trader. This is my username, my password, and as I said, Rhythmic Paper Trading 1. Uh, or Rhythmic 01 Paper Trading, and then log in by our Trader Pro. Okay guys, so let's show you what this looks like to connect. So you would click on your connection. Again, you could have multiple here. Click on connect, it'll go pending, then it goes yellow when it's loading. You get a little message up here. You can disable that if you want. Loading, connected, and now it's connected. And now what you'll see is all these depths of markets will start uh, pulling data. Sometimes there is a slight delay, I'll say, in, in pulling all the data. It might be a minute, it might be a few minutes. So it uh, depends on how many of these you have up, etc. So one last thing you need to do if this is your very first time using Jigsaw, you need to also go to download instruments. So when you go to symbol download, you're basically going to download, this will help map, Jigsaw to our trader. Select all the different markets that you use. So I use CBOT, for example, and CME. Uh, if you trade like crude oil, you might want NYMAX, etc. I'm only going to select those two for now, and I've done this already in the past. 
everything else is kind of pre-populated. I don't really need to change anything. It kind of figures out what's a logical date, so it's going to pull all the way through September 30th, 2021. It's currently May 2021, so it knows, okay, pull the next sort of two uh, contract periods for the Ultra Bond and for the Bonds, which would be uh, June's and September's. Um, you can choose update if you'll need it to update them. I mean, I have them downloaded. Um, I'm only downloading futures. And I mean, basically, you can leave all of this as it is. Just choose the markets you need and hit download. And then what you'll see down here, symbols download it. Um, it doesn't take long. It takes a couple minutes. It might take longer your first time, but it, it still will only be a few minutes. It's really not too long um, that it will take. And there we go. That that honestly took just about a minute honestly so uh, once it's done you can hit close and you can also close this box closing this box doesn't disconnect you it's just getting out of the way you can minimize it if you want um, you will have to bring it up to disconnect later so that's your choice I usually just close it out um, and then this toolbar so this video isn't so much about setting up the workspaces that's kind of an entire different video that I'm planning on making um, but at this point I'm connected to Rhythmic if you ever needed to double check it you can go back to connections it pops up you see I'm connected one question I get often I might have mentioned earlier in this video um, can you connect to multiple Rhythmic connections the answer is no not using this method because remember this is pulling its information from our trader and you can only have one instance of our trader running at a time so let's say i had a uh, one up trader account as well well i couldn't connect to our trader one up trader because it's already logged into you profit trader if that makes sense so you can only connect to one rhythmic account at a time now if you have other accounts with other data feeds you could so for example Ninja Trade Brokerage, you could connect. It's through CQG. Uh, Tradeovate, if you had a Tradeovate brokerage, you could connect to Tradeovate at the same time. So, just a few examples. And that is basically it for connecting Jigsaw Day Trader to our Trader Pro, which is Rhythmic. Uh, hope this video was useful to somebody. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, my contact information is down below. It's best to go to my website, go to the contact page, fill in the form, and send it off. That will send me an email. Uh, happy to answer any questions if you're kind of stuck. Uh, certainly as well, Jigsaw themselves, if you have very specific questions like to your connection, uh, Jigsaw support is very responsive, so you'll definitely hear back from them pretty quickly. Uh, so feel free to reach out to them as well. I'll leave you with that. Thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe if you want to follow along, see other videos like this, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.